Hi, this is Dr. Shannon Wong in Austin, Texas. I'm going to present some crystalline insertion pearls and tricks in the presence of an open posterior capsule. It's a femtosecond laser guided cataract surgery procedure. We've made a 5.5 millimeter diameter capsulotomy and we've removed the nucleus and on irrigation and aspiration we have inadvertently created a small perfectly circular opening in the posterior capsule. The key thing is if this opening is perfectly round then we can pretty much proceed according to plan. If it's not round then we can't put in the crystal ends. We're having some difficulty removing subincisional cortex so a trick is to make an opening 180 degrees away from the subincisional cortex and then use a 27 gauge cannula on a BSS syringe and just aspirate the cortex out gently. Now the bag is filled with viscoelastic when I do this so the risk is very very low. We then proceed to polish the posterior surface of the anterior capsule and then when we insert the crystal ends using the crystal cert everything looks good and then we try to irrigate and aspirate the viscoelastic and then rotate it and a key concept is if you can't rotate this lens something's wrong it has to rotate and if it can't rotate then there is some type of structural explanation for that. Now the problem here is this patient's pupil is relatively small and so we use viscoelastic to try to viscodilate the pupil and expose the area of the lens and the capsule that's below the incision. Ultimately, we have to resort to using iris retractors to visualize the anatomy, and we find that the uh, trailing haptic was trapped in the ciliary sulcus, and we had to then free up the lens and then gently place it back into the capsular bag. We could never see and confirm placement of the trailing haptic into the capsular bag unless we had placed these iris retractors. No viscoelastic, no instrument was able to show us uh, that confirmation. You can see the opening in the posterior capsule remains stable and then the moment of truth is when we go in with our irrigation and aspiration instrument and try to rotate this lens. And once we've rotated it 90 degrees, we pretty much know this lens is in the bag and therefore we can remove the iris retractors and we now know we're pretty much home free. So we remove our viscoelastic in the usual manner, we spin the lens around seal up our incisions and then the case is done except we want to go ahead and place our uh, triamcinolone moxifloxacin vancomycin aka TMV cocktail through a parse plane injection. We place it about 3 to 3.5 millimeters posterior to the limbus. We inject 0 0.15 ml of the TMV into the vitreous and then we inject 0 0.1 ml subconj. Thank you and have a wonderful day.